<laughs> As you can see, she's still watching my page. The demons are still watching my page. Mm. Okay. So, as I was saying, I will now be calling this the demon. The demon said, <clears throat> P.S. You have an open marriage and still want to fuck the same dude that has interest in me. You got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. The demon has me fucked up. Okay? The person she's talking about, we shall call Skinny Man. Skinny Man. My so-called ex-best friend wanted to be with you. And I told her to go ahead. Okay. What we not going to do is sit up here and pretend like I wanted your little friend. We have a professional working relationship. And that's as far as it goes. Casey, how you doing? I see you've been notified. So let me clear the air for you. If you're still listening. I'm going to call this person the demon. The demon thought I wanted you. Okay. I'm going to just say it right now. She thought I wanted you. That was not the case. We have a working relationship. I let the demon know she is my friend. And I'm not going to mess with anybody she likes. Because she was my friend. Okay? You feel like you want to text me and ask me what's going on? Feel free to do so. I can even send you the messages. They reported my first live because a few people probably went back and told the demon, like, yeah, she's talking about it on her live and stuff. No problem. I can always make another video. It's no problem. But I'm going to just tell you right now. She like you so much that she's willing to burn all bridges with all of her friends. And she's already talking to someone that is married Supposedly getting a divorce. Okay. She's already talking to damn near 10 other fucking people. This demon. So, just to give you a heads up, be careful. Okay. If you're into that type of bestiality, you go right ahead. But I'm letting you know we have a working relationship and that's it. I don't know where she got the idea that I wanted you, but that was weird of her to make that assumption. Okay? It was just weird. As I continue, the demon said, I remember you saying you'd pay me for helping and take me out to Venom, but none of that happened, huh? You left with your boyfriend on Saturday. I am speaking of the demon. You left with your boyfriend on Saturday. So how are we going to go out if you're going out and you're leaving to go back with your so-called boyfriend? Hmm? Mm. Then 
You said, I remember offering you gas, but you didn't take it. You said, I could leave it out that day. Yeah, that day. Hmm. One day. I said, don't worry about it that one day. But them four other fucking times, nah. You could have offered. Let's see. If I'm a crackhead for weed is what she wrote. The demon. You're a hoe for sex. Your stalker didn't do nothing. I know because I was gone long. I wasn't gone long. You don't leave out of somebody's door that has a stalker. Period. You don't do that. I don't care what, how long you think you was gone. That's enough time for somebody to sneak in, jiggle the lock, and sneak in the house. You don't do that. Period. Then she addresses my dialysis. You keep... The dialysis you keep repeating. I address air. Address air. Multiple. I don't deal with children. That made no sense. Like I said, your mother needs to call me because you slow. I don't I don't talk to LD children. That's what they used to call it back in the day. I don't talk to children they got, you know, them issues. I don't got time. Then she says <clears throat> After I tried to go, I remember I left my keys. I didn't want to keep going back and forth home. That's none of your concern if I had to meet you and didn't come to in. Oh, my God. These sentences are ridiculous. No punctuation. Just, just ridiculous. Oh, my God. Hey, Sunflower. How you doing? As you can see, the demon tried, they reported my last live, you know, trying to be cute and stuff, but I'm still going. So, now I'm talking about the demon. The last thing she said was after I tried to go, I remember I left my keys because I didn't want to have to keep going back and forth I went home that's none of your concern if I had to meet you how the hell was that none of my concern if she had to meet me isn't that weird it's like the way she talking is just it don't make sense like I would like to know what school this demon went to because it's like baby they did a horrible job with you it's just sad mm. And you didn't come to me and I still had to drive an hour. If I told you that you left your keys in my car and I sent you a picture, wouldn't it have made sense to be like, hey, let me get the keys out your car? Because we went to rehearsals together. Wouldn't it have made sense to be like, hey, you still got my keys? No, you wait till you leave with your boyfriend. Drive an hour away and then be like, I forgot my keys. You know, demons have a way of making you forget things. You lose time. And a lot of mental space when something is occupying your body. You need to get that checked out. The next thing the demon says is, I built up and the letter in literally gave you different shit for modeling and life. You wanted to talk, just care, take, talk about just caretaking, 
girl find Jesus undone. You know, demons have a way of trying to throw Jesus into a conversation when they can't have their way. Hello, dragon. How you doing? As you see, the demon tried to win. So. I don't run my mouth. You, I can keep your secrets. Unlike someone who wants to hold everything and you wonder why I left. That made no sense. That it, listen to this one more time. I don't run my mouth. I can keep you our secrets. Unlike someone who wants to hold everything and you wonder why I left. I don't wonder why you left. I actually got some good sleep after you left. I felt great. Once you and that demon walked out that door, I was relieved that you were gone. Relieved. Okay. Then she says, XOXO cover girl. First of all, cover girl needs to come find your ass and get you out of our way because Chicago tired of you. If cover girl is into demons, they need to come get your ass. Okay? They need to come get you. Alright? Let the diddlers have you. Okay? Because we don't want you. If you're going to act like this, we don't want you. Tell them to come get you. Where's a ditty when you need one? Got the perfect specimen for you. We will feed you to the wolves, honey. You're not stopping nothing over here. She says, you've been serving yourself. Serving? But in TEO, what the hell is TEO? In T.E.O. months, <laughs> was she trying to say 10 months? This demon is weird. In T.E.O. months, I got you in a music video. Let's be clear about that. That music video was unpaid. That's not something to boast about. When the video drops, and I've already expressed how grateful I am to that artist for letting me get the opportunity to participate. All you did was invite me to do something for free. You didn't do anything great. That video shoot did not pay my bills. Okay? But it's something to add to my resume. So. As I was saying, the demon says, she got me in a music video, put my walk on point. What you do, hold my hand? All you said was point my toe, put my shoulders back when I walk. And keep balance. You literally was a director, creative director for a runway show a couple of times. You're not Tyra Banks, sweet. I have already showed my appreciation in a post on my page for the pointers that you did give me. And you gonna tell me you, you put my walk on point? I've been modeling for 11 years. Commercial modeling, not runway. I just started doing runway this year. So you did not make or break me, sweetie. Let's see, what else does this say? Girl, you're an example of what I will never do again. 
give anybody the benefit of the doubt and in you want my services again it's double first of all you're not part of sag and after you don't have an agent okay i won't be paying you to do shitty work okay you did 30 percent of what i could do myself all I got to do is take an eight hour fucking nap, get up and do the shit myself. I don't need a demon to do shit for me. That's why I did not accept you or your mother's offer when y'all said, oh, uh, uh, why don't you make me a homemaker and I can get paid through your medical insurance to be a homemaker. So you could put some dirty dishes in the dishwasher and not turn it on? Are you serious? No. Nah. Not at all. Then she says, also for you to be this grown, you act like you did do this in you did. I'm also... That, that made no sense. I'm just, this, this paragraph is ridiculous. Like, all five emails are ridiculous. Like, this demon got you tripping over your own words. It's ridiculous. So, I'm going to be an adult for the both of us and leave it here. I already took accountability, can you? Because I repent and pray religiously, do you? Yeah, I do. And that was about the only paragraph you get right out of five. Your karma is coming. Like I said, I ain't got to do nothing. You keep burning bridges and think ain't nobody going to do nothing. Okay, one day you going to do this shit to the wrong person. And they're not going to react in the way that I'm reacting. And it's going to be sad. It's going to be very sad for you. My message to all five of her emails were. Five emails of gibberish. Let me speak to your mother. She didn't say a word after that. She didn't say nothing. So, once again, what I did for this demon, I invited her to spend the night at my house twice. We became best friends October 17th. I came 30 minutes to Buffalo Grove to pick you up and drop you off more than three times on several occasions. And you offered no gas. You disrespect my home by leaving out and not telling me while I am doing Uber to go smoke weed so bad. Your urge was so strong that you literally like crackhead level. It was so strong that you just couldn't wait. Potentially could have let my stalker into my home. If he was waiting outside the door. Waiting for somebody to open the door. All he had to do was go upside your head. And drag you back in the house. That's what you need to understand. My stalker is another level of crazy. And that's the reason why I keep cameras outside my door. He knows not to cross that. But you want to play with danger. But demons usually do play with danger. So I see why you feel like, oh, it was nothing. Oh, you about to find out. That karma is about to come back to you. You're not going to understand until it happens to you. You step on my salt mine outside my door three times. No one is that clumsy. It's just a demon. Simple as that. 
you told, which I'm going to say KFC. You told KFC that I might not be coming to the meeting yesterday because I'm doing dialysis, which you had no permission or reason to do so. When you could have told him to just call me. Don't speak for me. I am a grown woman. You do not speak for me. Okay? And you literally thought that I was trying to fuck on someone we're doing business with? Are you slow? I don't do that to my friends. My enemies, that's a whole nother situation. But my friends, no. I don't do that. And I told you that. I even encouraged you to go get some. He's single. Go on here and get you some. You literally had a conversation with him. Oh, he's interested in you, right? Okay. You asked him, was he single? He said, no. He asked you, was you single? What did you say? And he didn't say nothing else to you after that. Which shows his level of respect for your demon. He actually had respect for y'all. I commend him for that. But I'm going to say it again. No one was checking him for that. I am entitled to my opinion. Yeah, he good looking. But I wasn't going to go there. Not at all. I wasn't going to go there. There's no reason to. When you're doing business with somebody, you don't go there. You keep business and pleasure separate. Apparently, that's something you don't know how to do. And I am well aware that there's people that are going to be mad. Like, oh, let me unfollow her because she's doing all this. No, I'm going to post all them messages. And y'all going to see who was in the right. I'm going to post all those messages and you're going to see who's in the right. I next said, you made, you made a decision. You literally made a suggestion to ride with me in Uber, which is against company policy. I don't give a fuck what your friends do. If they sit up there and ride with you or they let you ride with them. While they Uber, that's against company policy. You can get fired for that. And Uber will ban you from their app. I don't do that. So if I told you no and you felt some type of way about it, you wrong. That made no sense for you to ask me, can you come Uber with me? No sense at all. Then I said, you're literally dating a married man, processing a divorce. And have the audacity to get mad when he disappears and has to do something for his family. Or just be alone. You are no one to him unless he marries you. Stay in your place until he calls you. And stop having meltdowns. He don't belong to you until he's divorced. And marries you, of course. I may have an open marriage, but at least I know where he is at all times, which is actually true. I reiterate, you thought I wanted somebody that you liked. You made an assumption. He may look good, but sweetie, I'm not trying to do all that. Then you have the audacity to be talking to did. 10 different people to pay one bill. The demon is a walking mess. A walking mess. 
I don't have to have 10 people to pay one bill. I go get that shit myself. I Uber. There's tons of things I can go do to make sure my bills are paid. I don't have to talk to 10 people just to get one bill paid. And I don't have to sell no kitty cat to do it either. Unlike some people. I ain't got to sell my kitty cat to pay a bill. On Saturday, you leave your car keys and then have the audacity to come down, ask me to come downstairs after dialysis to give them to you. Inconsiderate. I said what I said. That's inconsiderate. That's why I told you to come to the second floor and get them. Because I'm not finna walk all the way down there. I wasn't. Not in my condition. I have a genetic kidney condition. I do dialysis at home. And what you're not finna do is rush me to do some shit that I already told you 24 hours before. Hey, your keys are in my car. I even sent you a picture of it. These demons not finna play with me. Then I said, all you did was cook my food. You didn't buy groceries. You cooked my food two times. Wash some dishes. You literally put dirty dishes in the dishwasher and didn't turn it on. You didn't do shit. That is not being a housewife. You didn't even turn it on. Ridiculous. You didn't do nothing but get on my last fucking nerve. Why would I take your suggestion to be a at-home caretaker and you didn't even do 100% good job? Only literally 30%. And that's true. You only did that much. Why the hell would the state of Illinois hire someone to be a caretaker and you don't even know how to turn on a dishwasher? So before you go run your mouth to anyone, remember all the stuff I did for you. Because a real best friend would not block her best friend for no fucking reason. Have a nice life. There would be no reconciliation. This is on you, not me. P.S. I am not critical to the point where I need a caretaker. My experiences with you just taught me to get some more sleep so I can have more energy. To complete daily task. You are not my savior. I have been saving myself since 1984. I'm good, love. No one badgered you. Number one. No one hurt your feelings because you didn't make it known that your feelings were hurt until today. So from the 17th of October all the way until now. You didn't make it known that your feelings were hurt. Amaze, how are you? From October all the way until today, you did not make it known that your feelings were hurt at all. So no one badgered you. You didn't make your feelings known. You have been nothing but a pain in the ass for the past two weeks, demon. Then you're so offended that you get your little friends to report my first live, okay? You're so offended, right? You're so unbothered, but you got your friends to report my live, right? You accuse me of wanting someone we work with. Someone I'm gonna call KFC. You accuse me of wanting to fuck someone we work with. Then on top of that, your reason for that was, oh, well, you have an open marriage and you're trying to fuck someone I'm interested in. No, I wasn't. I have no personal messages with that person. With KFC at all. I have no personal messages with this person. My 
business, as far as my open marriage, everyone has known this. People who know me personally, and especially social media, people have known this for years. We have had one for seven years. And because I was assaulted six months ago, someone tried to force me to be pregnant by them. I cut everything off. So for you to try to make it seem like, oh, you telling a big secret, you're not. TikTok even knows about this. All my social media pages has old videos, hundreds of videos talking about this. This information is not new. Someone tried to force me to be pregnant by them and you walked out of my door and left it unlocked to go smoke weed and ask my property manager for access to the porch when I never told you that was okay. What you did was wrong. Because I never would have came to your house and did that. So you got me fucked up. Your demons. Y'all got me fucked up. And anyone that's taken up for her, it must be something wrong with you too. It's got to be something wrong with you too. If you think this shit, this behavior is normal, there has got to be something wrong with you too. But like I said, your karma is building. I don't have to do anything. But I'm letting it be known. You have a problem with me not being friends with the demon. Go ahead. I don't know how prosperous your life is going to be. But turning against me ain't going to make your life no better. Because remember, I ain't did nothing to y'all. But demons do have a way of getting people to be part of their little army. So, it's all good. But I'm not phased by any of that. I am who I am. I'm a grown ass woman. And me and my husband do what we want together. Okay? And ain't nobody gonna tell us nothing different. We do what the fuck we want to do. But what you're not going to do is accuse me of something I wasn't doing. I was minding my fucking business before you came along and said all the fuck that you said. Nobody wasn't thinking about you. I even told you if you want to go and sit on KFC face, you go right ahead. I said what the fuck I said. I encouraged you to do so. I said, I'm your friend, and I want to see you happy. I said that. And now you sit here and accuse me of doing something I didn't do? Boy, please. So, this is my second live. I will be making posts about this. And to update on the um, Daniel the dog situation... Uh, that paperwork is in the courthouse downtown. I will be going forward with my lawsuit. So, ain't shit stopping that. You can run, but you can't hide. Now, a maze. You have heard a lot in the past five minutes. You know? I appreciate you tuning in. You know? Much appreciated. But sometimes there's some drama and some craziness that goes on on my page. And people think that they know me. 
and they know nothing about me at all. Me and my husband have been together 15 years. We've been married 13 and we have had an open marriage for seven. He said, I have not experienced everything there is to experience in life. So, he offered me that. And I appreciate it because I'm having fun. Yes, somebody tried to steal my joy by trying to force me to be pregnant by them. But, hey, I think I handled that situation pretty well. I got cameras outside my door, a police report. The kid did that. There's too much evidence for the person to get around it or get away with it. So, yeah, unless he wants to go back to prison, he knows not to play with me. But I will definitely stay strong, most definitely. If everyone hasn't decided to unfollow me because their little demon said so, I will continue to support and share content. If I see beautiful walks and runways and pictures and stuff like that, I'll continue to do that. That's something I do. But I appreciate beauty. But if your demon is just, you know, so latched on to you and you feel like you just can't betray their friendship, then you go right ahead, baby. It's all good. You go right ahead. But that demon don't pay no bills in my house. None. It has never. There's no found transactions between me and this demon whatsoever. She hasn't done anything tremendous in my life. Except for gave me a few pointers. That's about it. Was it Vogue level advice? No. More power to you. I hope you do walk the wrong way one day with them. Go right ahead. <laughs> I'm not a hater. Go ahead. But I won't get there the way you going to get there. You have to go through the diddlers to get there. I don't have to do that. I'm going to just be me and do me because I'm a grown ass woman. I don't have to do what you do. Like I said before, your body count higher than mine. How you gonna tell me what to do with my pussy? You got me fucked up. If I wanted to, I would've did it, but my pussy creates stalkers, so I can't do that. Just being honest. I ain't gloating, I'm just being honest. But you, on the other hand, you accused me of something I didn't do. That's going to come back on you. Mm -hmm. Why you couldn't get in touch with me the other day? Because I was out Ubering, dummy. I'm not finna pick up the phone for you. Especially if I'm cleaning up. Why is it okay for you not to pick up the phone for people? But it's I can't pick... I can't have a day where I turn my phone off. I can't have a day where I put my shit on focus and worry about what the fuck I need to do for myself. You got me fucked up. You accused me of something I didn't do. That's going to come back on you. That's karma. I'm not embarrassed by the slices. At all. This is me. If you can handle it, cool. If you can't, more power to you. I'll make sure I block you after you're gone. Because I'm not a phony person. I don't got a phony kick it with you. But I know a few of her minions are going to look to see, oh, is she posting about her? Uh-huh. 
I make sure I post all the messages. All. And y'all can read it for yourself and see who's in the wrong and who's in the right. And I guarantee you, I was right. I need this to be known. I'm not finna play with y'all kids. You boomers and baby boomers, I'm not finna play with y'all kids. I will expose them and hang them out to dry. I said what the fuck I said. Ain't no 22 year old with a body count of R. Kelly gonna tell me what to do, how to do it, or when to do it. That does not make you a supermodel because you have a high body count. It does not make you a supermodel. Because you could throw a few things together in a notebook. It does not make you a supermodel. Okay? To try to tear somebody else down. Sneak dissing. Backstabbing. Lying. Then you telling other people. You built a business or you made them. Are you fucking weak? Are you fucking retired? You don't do that. That's sick. You did not make any of these people that's doing these wrong way shows. You just helped out. And they thanked you publicly for it. And all you do is try to tear people down and pretend that you're the victim. You're not a victim. You're just a walking demon. That's it. A walking demon with flesh. And to be quite honest, we don't have to tolerate you. Those messages are coming very soon. Very soon. But. I'm going to give me some sleep. I might. I don't know. Three people just tried to call me. Three. Probably more than that. Because my notifications are on focus. gonna be very hard for you to sleep with all them demons running around hmm you know what I'm gonna post those text messages first and then I'm gonna get some rest good night everyone